Hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally and let's talk about present simple tense. Okay? So, let me tell you about myself. I will use present simple. I live in Moscow. I go to work. I work very hard. I have a family. I have two sons. I teach English. I also do business. I have different hobbies. I like different games. I often play chess. So you can see different examples with present simple. And I have a question for you. How do we form these tense? So you use after I, we, you, they, you use a verb. So what is a verb? For example, go, I go, we go, you go, they go, see, I see, we see, you see, they see. If you have he, she, it, you have a verb plus s. You have a verb plus s. For example, I live in Moscow, but she lives. But she lives. For example, in Moscow, she lives. Uh, in another city, she lives. He lives. It lives. It's a rule. If you have he, she, it, you need to say s, so you need to add s after the verb. Okay, let's look at more examples. I do it. We know it. You understand it. They study. He understands. So we have s because of he, he understands, she knows it, we have S because of she, it works very well, it works very well, so we have S because of it, we have a rule, if we have he, she, it, we need to add S after the verb, so you see, he understands, she knows it. It works very well. So you see, English is easy. So present simple tense is the main tense. It's the main tense. It's the main tense. We use it when we talk about the present. We use it when we talk. We use it when we talk about the present. When we talk about the present. Okay, so very good. So there are some time markers or we also call them time expressions. So and they tell us they tell us that we need to use present simple. Look, always if we talk about the present, always I always do it. Often, I often help them. Usually, I usually learn English two hours a day. I sometimes see him. So, you can put sometimes in the middle, in the beginning or in the end. So, you see, sometimes I see him. I see him sometimes. And never. I never do it. Okay, and some more time markers. Seldom and rarely. They mean the same. So it means not often. I seldom do it. I rarely do it. Seldom or rarely is the same, not often. She rarely makes mistakes. 
she rarely makes mistakes. Okay, so how to form a negative sentence? So you need to use don't after I, we, you, they and doesn't after he, she, it and then you use a verb. You use a verb. For example, for example, I do it. So if you want to form a negative sentence, so you need to use don't or doesn't. Don't or doesn't. So what do we use after I? Don't or doesn't? I don't. I don't. So I don't. I don't do it. I don't do it. We know it. We. We use don't after we, you, they. So we don't. We don't do it. You understand it. You don't. You don't understand it. Okay? So they study. They don't. They don't study. They don't study. And we have doesn't after he, she, it. So you see. She knows it. Oh, he understands. Or he doesn't. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. So he understands, but he doesn't understand. She knows it, but she doesn't. But she doesn't know it. Doesn't know. It works well. It doesn't work well. Okay? So very good, really very good. Okay, let's look at more examples. I don't work. So I, we, you, they don't. I don't work. We don't study at school. We don't study at university. You don't know it. They don't understand it. She doesn't work. He doesn't go to school. It doesn't work. I don't live in Russia. I live in America. How to ask a question in present simple? Really, how to ask a question? So you need to use do or does in the beginning. So if you have I, we, you, they, you put do in the beginning. If you have he, she, it, you put does and then you use a verb. Okay, so let's look at some examples. For example, I know it, I know it. So if you want to form a negative form, I don't know it and do I know it. Do I know it? Do I know it? So I know it well. I don't know it well. Do I know it? Do I know it well? Do I know it well? Okay, so do you know it? Do you understand? Does she live in Russia? So if you have he, she, it, you have does in the beginning. Does she live in Russia? Okay, how to ask? Yeah, and let's look at some, let's do some exercises. So, revision exercises. So, you see, work hard, they, and you need to say it, you know, you need to make up a sentence. And also, in a negative form, you have to make a negative sentence and uh, to make a question. So, work hard, they. They work hard. So, subject, object. They work hard. Next, if you want to form a negative sentence, you use don't before a word. They don't work hard and do in questions. With you, they, I, we. Do they work hard? Next, one more exercise. No, it, she. 
She knows it. Yeah, don't forget to use S. She knows it. She doesn't know it. Doesn't. He, she, it, doesn't. Does she know it? Does she know it? Well, how to ask special questions? So, you put question words in the beginning like what, where, how, why, when, and then you use do or does, subject, and a verb. For example, what books do you read? So, first, a question word or question structure, what books, then do or does, so you have you, and you need to use do. What book do you read? Which variants do you usually choose? Whose book is that? Whose book is that? We'll talk about the verb to be in the second part of this presentation. How much does it cost or how much is it? How much money do you have? How many brothers do you have? Okay, I hope that's clear. Let's look at the verb to be. Sometimes we use the form of the verb to be am, are, or is. So when do we use it? So there is one rule. If you don't have a verb, if you don't have a verb, if you don't have a verb, if you don't have a verb in a sentence, in a sentence, and you talk about the present, and you talk about the present, you need to use the for, you need to use the form of the verb to be. You need to use you need to use the form you need to use the form of the verb you need to use the form of the verb to be. Right, so verb like go, see, so on. So it's very important rule, rule. A very important rule. Please remember it. Okay, so if you don't have a verb, for example, I am or oh, not not the, yeah, I am at home. So do you have a verb in this sentence? No. You don't have a verb. You don't have a verb. You don't have a verb like see, go, you know, study, learn. So you use the form of to be. So you use am with I, I am, are with we, you, they, and is with he, she, it. So listen and repeat. I am at home. We are at home. You are at home. They are at home. He is at home. She is at home. It is at home. Good. Very good. And let's look at some examples. I am here. So we say I am. It is interesting. So he, she, it is. It is interesting. We are happy. We, you, they are. We are happy. How to make a negative form? So you need to put not. You need to put not after am, are, or is. I am not at home. We are not at home. You are not at home. They are not at home. He is not at home. She is not at home. It is not at home. Well, so, or we can use a short form. I'm not. We aren't. You aren't. They aren't. He isn't. She isn't. It isn't. Okay, examples. I am not at work. Or I'm not at work. It is not interesting for me. Or it isn't interesting for me. They are not in the city. Or they aren't in the city. Yeah, what about questions? So it's easy. 
So you put am, are, or is in the beginning. Yes, you put it at the beginning of the sentence. Am I? Am I at home? Are we at home? Are you at home? Are they at home? Is he at home? Is she at home? Is it at home? Examples. Are you here? Is it interesting? Are they happy? Okay, let's do some exercises. So, yeah, we're talking about present simple or we also call it present indefinite. Let's do some revision exercises. So, interesting it. So, you need to form a sentence. So, in a statement, negative and question. So, it is interesting. Please, don't forget to use it. So, there is a rule. You remember, if you don't have a verb like go, see, come and others, you need to use the form of the verb to be. It is. He, she, it is. It isn't interesting. Is it interesting? So, you put is in the beginning. In the office, they. So, you need to do the same. They are in the office. They aren't in the office. Are they in the office? Yeah, and uh, what about special questions? So, you have a question word in the beginning, like where, how, why, what, when. Then you put am, are, or is, and a subject. I, we, you, they, or something else. For example, Examples, where am I? So, a question word, and then the verb, the form of the verb to be. Where am I? How are you? Really, I know that many students know how to ask it, but they don't understand why we say it, why we say so, why we say it this way. It's very important to understand how to make up different sentences and structures in English. So, why is it interesting? More examples. What books are there? So, what books? You put it in the beginning. Then, the form of the verb to be. What books are there? Which weren't is correct. Which weren't is right. So, which weren't means it, it is, so which weren't is correct. Which weren't is right. Whose book is that? How much is it? How much is this dress? How much is this suit? How many mistakes are there? And I have some questions for you. Why do you learn English? So you have a verb, learn, and you ask questions with do or does. If you don't have a verb, you ask questions with is, are, or am. And what hobbies do you have? So you can continue. I like and so on. So I really hope you like all these lessons. So please have a look at our playlists, watch different lessons. I really hope you'll enjoy it and you'll make good progress. Okay, good luck. See you. Bye. English. I also do business. I have different hobbies. I like different games. I often play chess. So, you can see different examples with present simple. And I have a question for you. How do we form these tense? So, you use after I, we, you, they, you use a verb. So, what is a verb? For example, go, I go, we go, you go, they go, see, I see, we see, you see, they see. If you have he, she, it, you have a verb plus s. You have a verb plus s. For example, I live in Moscow, but she lives, 
but she lives for example in Moscow she lives uh, in another city she lives he lives it lives it's a rule if you have he she it you need to say s rule if we have he she it we need to add s after the verb so you see he understands she knows it it works very well so you see english is easy so present simple tense is the main tense it's the main tense it's the main tense we use it when we talk about the present we use it when we talk we use it when we talk about the present when we talk about the present okay so very good so there are hi welcome to the channel english professionally and let's talk about present simple tense okay so let me tell you about myself i will use present simple i live in moscow i go to work I work very hard. I have a family. I have two sons. I teach. So you need to add S after the verb. Okay, let's look at more examples. I do it. We know it. You understand it. They study, he understands, so we have S because of he, he understands, she knows it, we have S because of she, it works very well, it works very well, so we have S because of it, we have a